According to Twitter leaker Unknowns21, a redesign of the iPhone 15 Pro's cameras may be necessary to accommodate one of the iPhone's largest new features. They claim that Apple is shifting the placement of the ultra-wide camera on the back of the iPhone 15, which hasn't changed since the debut of the iPhone 11 Pro with triple cameras in 2019. This iPhone 15 alteration is being made, according to render artist Ian Zelbo, who seems to also be in the know, in order to squeeze in the larger periscope telephoto camera lens on the iPhone 15 Pro Max variant. The ultra-wide camera is located to the side, snuggled between the LiDAR sensor and flash, while the telephoto camera is positioned precisely above the primary camera on the current iPhone 14 Pro model. Nevertheless, reports claim that Apple's next iPhone 15 Pro will upend everything by shifting the placement of the telephoto and ultra-wide cameras. Although sources claim that the telephoto camera on the Pro model won't be swapped out, this change is anticipated to be made to both the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models. For the iPhone 13 series, Apple made a significant camera placement change by adopting a diagonal rear camera placement for the base models and swapping the position of the main and telephoto cameras. This was the last time Apple changed the location of its camera, and both tech aficionados and Apple fans applauded the change. Customers' reactions to the future camera placement modifications on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max models yet to be seen. For the majority of consumers, switching from an old Pro iPhone to the iPhone 15 Pro would likely not be visible due to the switcheroo. However, there are two advantages to this change that I can think of, the first is the ability to accommodate a larger camera, as Unknowns21 and Zelbo mentioned, and the second is macro photography. In a recent comparison of macro photos taken with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra, I discovered that the position of the iPhone 14 Pro's ultra-wide camera can result in unintentional shadowing on images as the top edge of the phone casts a shadow when moved closer to the subject. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So with that being said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.